Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more NHL 22 be a pro with our goalie dorsal Finn and I am back. I am finally back. It has been quite some time. It has definitely been some time, but we are back and I am no longer in Jersey. I'm in my new office, which is a mess. I do and I do not apologize because <laughs> I am. We just moved in. Well, we just got our stuff uh two days ago so i think i've made pretty solid progress because yesterday i didn't really do too much but the day before i did so yes so this is my first stream for twitch and youtube uh in the new place so yes we are at our new apartment here in north carolina so yeah it's definitely a lot bigger a lot more room there's still there's some eagle stuff hung up i got all my super bowl scoring photos up here I still don't know what I'm going to do with the back wall, though. Uh, I might not even keep the camera here. I might put the camera on this monitor, like uh, like so. I apologize for the mess, but yeah, there's a, there is a lot going on, as you can see. So, yeah, I got stuff all over the place. I've also been doing whatnot, so that's why, um, you know, I haven't really had too much time to go through things. But I got, like, frames here, boxes all back here, so... Yeah, we're going to make it nice, though, for sure. But I'm debating if I want to put baseball or hockey stuff back there because I have some jerseys I'd like to frame for baseball. But anyway, I was thinking we would do a uh, a full game this episode, talk about the move and how much of a an SHIT show that was because that was not good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, a lot of uh, fun stuff for sure. But let's go for uh, 200 likes. Go ahead, smash that like button, share that love and support, subscribe, join the Dorsal fam. Don't forget to ring that bell and follow us on Twitch. Link is down below. And yeah, uh, hopefully I'll get some more stuff up on the wall. So my, uh... oh, what's this? Big game for what? I don't know why this is a big game. I have no idea what the uh, what that was, but all right. There is okay. There is a uh, game volume. It's not too loud, right? It sounds good. I'm not like talking over it. I'm gonna save that because I might use that as the thumbnail. Actually, let's just do last. Nope, last minute, just in case. Okay. But yeah, uh, so we have officially moved. So I've actually been here. Well, we've both been here since Sunday, uh, last Sunday. Not the one that just, not yesterday. Well, I'm recording this Monday and streaming this Monday, but it'll probably go up Tuesday. But uh, we've been here since Sunday, so we actually were supposed to have movers uh, come on Sunday. So here's uh, how everything played out. So we had movers coming and we, you know, unfortunately everything's done over the phone. Like not even FaceTime, just voice to voice over the phone. You have to give the measurements, the furniture, describe things, how many boxes you think you need, and all that fun stuff. So, there's all that. And then, you know, we were very specific with our estimates. So, a few days pass, and it's time for to move. It's time to move. And they come with a big truck. My girlfriend sent me a photo, and I was like, oh yeah, that should definitely fit everything. And the best part is when they open, they, they came up. I wasn't there. I left early because my girlfriend wanted me to make sure because I wanted to bring my memorabilia with me, which I am super happy I did. And we'll get into that. But I brought like my framed photos, my jerseys, uh, my pucks, um, my mini helmets, stuff like that in my car, which somehow all fit. So uh, I brought all that stuff and she wanted me to pack all that stuff up before they got there. To make sure that, you know, I, we knew what was going to have to go in the truck if need be and what I was going to be able to take. And luckily I was able to take everything. So, so anyway, they show up uh, and I'm not there. So I left and she called me and told me that, you know, they came up and said, oh, I don't know if this is going to be enough room. My girlfriend was confused because she saw the truck and it looked like there was more than enough room in the truck. They open the back of the truck, and half the truck is filled with someone else's stuff from another move. So we had maybe half a truck full of, of you know, room. So my girlfriend called her dad. Now, her parents had a very bad um, 
a very bad uh, move with this same company as well. So he told my my girlfriend's dad told her to tell them to just leave. Don't put anything in the truck and just leave. So they ended up um, we ended up pretty much doing our own move ourselves. Oh, that was a weak shot. I thought that was going to end up going in. A lot of action though. So yes, it was uh, it was not not good, not smooth at all. But uh, so anyway. Uh, I stayed here with the cats and just my girlfriend and her dad went to uh, pack up everything left at the house. So, um, yeah, but luckily we got, he drove the U-Haul because I have never driven anything larger than an SUV before. So, so he went instead. I would have went and took care of it, but yeah. And uh, there we go. Nice. We're on the board finally. Jeez. It was definitely looking like this was going to be a... I mean, it still could be a Canucks win. Still early. But man, a lot of action so far on our side of the ice. But they they took care of the move, so... Her parents have been very, very helpful throughout this whole process. So I definitely have to thank them for that. But yes, it definitely could have went way better, but not their fault. It was all the moving company and how incompetent they were. Uh, but... And then they called and they were like, uh, Oh, we're working to reschedule your move. And we told them, um, no, we're doing it ourselves. Because if you're not aware, when you are moving out of an apartment, that stuff has to go right then and there. There is no... Like, it's got to go out then. Like, there is no wait a few days. So, yes, we got all our stuff. Everything was fine. I don't think anything really got damaged, to my knowledge. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think everything was pretty much fine through the move. Um, everything was packed really well, so I'm very happy about that. Even the stuff we put in our cars, I think, ended up being fine. So, I think the only thing that happened was, I think the one lamp had a little bit of like a dent at the bottom, but it was like a cheap target lamp, so we weren't very concerned about that. And it was like on the base of it, so. Who's this on us? Great. Oh no! We're on the power play. I thought our guy touched it and then the whistle blew, so I was a little confused. But yes, everything is here now. We are good. The only thing left to do is unpack, so. We are still in the process of doing that. I'm still kind of like... Thinking about how I want to do the walls. I'm doing eagle stuff on this wall for sure. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that back wall. It's between hockey and uh, baseball. But I was thinking like, well, I wanted to do baseball. But with baseball season ending, should I just do hockey? My girlfriend even said you should switch out the jerseys. Like every month or whatever, three months, I think she said. Like just switch out the jerseys and the frames. Because they're pretty easy to switch out. So... You just open it. The frames are a little beat up, though, but I think that's more my fault than the move. I think they've been kind of beat up. I think they're, like... I mean, they weren't cheap, but they weren't too expensive either. They were, like, $80 frames. So... They're nice, though, but they're not, like, professional frames. Like, professionally framed custom frames or anything like that, but... But anyway, yes, everything is good now. We are here, and... I am, I'm liking it here so far. It's very nice here in North Carolina, but I do feel like I'm in Florida because it rains here every freaking day. Every day I think there's been rain. Actually, I don't know if it rained yesterday though. It may not have, unless it did overnight. But I'm trying to think. I definitely saw lightning though. Oh, nice. Almost put in our own net. Thanks. But it's, it's very nice here, and it's so, it's so much nicer than Jersey. At least the area we're in. But it's just like, everything's newer and more modern and cleaner. It's just super, super nice. And everything is like right here. Like, every, all the shopping, you don't have to go very far. The only thing I don't like about it here is there's this highway that has all these freaking tolls on it. And it's like a, it's like a couple cents. It's like, I don't know, 25 cents, 50 cents every time you go through them. But they're all over the highway. Like, it's like every mile, every couple miles, there's, like, this toll. But it's not, like, an easy pass thing. It, 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 like, just snaps a picture of your license plate, I guess. Like, you don't have to slow down for it or anything like that. But that's the only thing I don't like. It's like, yeah, it might be a few cents. But if you drive on that every day, it kind of adds up. So, 
But the gas is cheaper, but I guess with the tolls on the one road, it kind of cancels out. I don't know what the gas is like back in Jersey. It was like just under four bucks, I think, when we left. But here, it's been like 350 something pretty much all around here. So that's very nice. But yeah, I'm liking it here. I really am. I went to the Durham Stadium again. That was fun. Um, there's also this one stadium called Ting, Ting Park or Ting Stadium, but it's like a whole complex and they play the CPL plays there, the Coastal Plain League, where like the Savannah Bananas are in that league. And the team that plays there are the Holly Springs Salamanders, I think is their name. Who's this on? Oh, it's on us. Is it hot there? Very, very hot. It's been like 90 something every day. Yeah. If the Phillies make the playoffs, keep that on the wall. I don't have much Philly stuff, though, believe it or not. I'm, I don't know if I have a single signed Philly. No, I do, actually. I have a few. Never mind, I lied. But and they're, like, not really current guys. Like, I don't have, like, Harper or Hoskins or anything like that. But I have, like, Tatis. I have Acuna. I have J-Rod. The J-Rod jersey is very nice. I really wanted to hang that up. Because it says, instead of Rodriguez on the back, it says J-Rod show. So I really want to hang that up. I think that was a pristine auction win. It's a majestic jersey too. Football! With the resub. I almost reacted pretty late to that. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if I... Did anyone hear the sound? I didn't hear it. I can't even take the heat here in PA. Yeah, it's been very hot here. Like, it's kind of hard to enjoy anything, even just walking around for a bit. It's just really hot. Like when we hired the, when we had the movers help unload the truck, they were like just sweating all over our stuff. And it was just, I mean, I wasn't mad at them, but it was just like, <laughs> like my card boxes had sweat all over them. Ooh, man, we are getting way too much action. I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, nice. I like how my guy kind of stopped on the post too. All right, it looked like he did. Am I going to do MLB 22? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not today, though. This is probably going to be my only uh, video for today. Unless I go live later on. Because I'm going to do whatnot. But I'm hoping to get back in the rhythm of things. That's why things were a little uh, slow the past few weeks. Or probably months, I should say. But I'm hoping to get back into a rhythm. Oh, okay. I can't wait to check this. Uh, remind me to check the stats after this period. Because we got to see the numbers. What's up, Infinite? How are you? 15 months of being your top guy. No wonder my back is always sore from the carry. GG on the move. Can't wait to see the finished product. Thank you. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to see it either. Hopefully, I'll have time to work on it a bit today. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with that back wall. But this is definitely going to be Eagles for sure. The only thing is... I only have, like, I do have signed baseballs, but I don't really know if I want to display them yet. And I don't really have many signed photos for baseball. That's why I might make this, like, the baseball wall. You know what I could do? I could buy the cheap Michaels frames for my jerseys. I could do that. Oh, man. I'm surprised he didn't make that stop. All right. Which one is it? The camera angle I use is fixed. Yeah, a lot of people ask me that. I gotta add that to, like, my description. Like, frequently asked question. <laughs> I just go for it? Because my team can't score. Oh! Alright. I kind of want... I, I didn't think I was going to make it, so... I kind of stopped. I wanted to, like, get in that guy's way. Nice! Wow, that was a quick answer back. It's funny, like, how we're, we have two goals, yet, uh... We have, like, no shots, I feel like. Sorry. Oh, you're a good CD. I don't care when people ask that question. It's just a question so many people ask. I'm, I'm not annoyed by it. I was just saying. That's a question I get a lot. I don't care to answer it, though. If I see it, at least. I don't care. 
But thank you again for the resub football. I don't know if you guys heard the alert, like, uh, but I didn't hear it go off. But if you guys heard it, then all good. I pass that out. We're almost done this period, which is good. We got to be well over 10 shots. Ooh. All right, let's see the shot totals. Why did you go to the Penguins? Uh, That's who people voted for. I think it was between that and the Red Wings. Is that where we were last time? I let the people vote where we go. Uh, wait, I can do it right here. Oh, wow. It's actually not as... I really didn't think we had that many shots. I thought we were going to be, like, at five. It just felt like we didn't have that many. All right. But all right. Good stuff, I suppose. I'll take it. But yeah, this is going to be a short stream, so I do apologize. How's the stream look? Good? Because I'm actually not using an Ethernet cable. I'm using just wireless. Because, unfortunately, the the router got installed over here. It, I wanted it over here, but they didn't have, like, the... The outlet for the what's it called I forget coax or is that what's called I forget the name of the cable but uh unfortunately it was over there so not over here but I could get like a long enough ethernet cable and kind of just run it along the wall with tape like white electrical tape but or masking tape whatever this is uh be a pro CD expressway But yeah, this game's coming, the next one's coming out soon, right? 23? I don't know the date, though. I don't even know if one's been announced, but I'm assuming it's going to be out, hopefully, at the latest October. Because hasn't it been around October the past few years? Or actually, I think since COVID, it's gone to October. Madden is usually st still gets released on time, though. But NHL used to come out in September, didn't it? Oh, that was my bad. I know it was a one-timer, but I should have gotten there. All right. Damn. All right. Oh, come on. You got to capitalize there. I mean, we're still playing pretty well. I don't know how I didn't make that first stop, though. The second one, okay. That would have been an embarrassing one to give up. The Flyers should be interesting to watch this year. Watch them somehow, like, just kill it this year. With no firepower at all. I mean, if you think about it, the only guy they really lost was Giroux, right? And they lost Lindblom. They didn't really acquire anyone great at all. But that's the aggressive retool. I hate our GM so much. I really do. It's funny, because last offseason, like, we all thought he killed it, Fletcher. Like, we really did. I, I thought he did. I, I thought last... I mean, and the team's pretty much the same, aside from Giroux and... Uh, at least, as far as I can think, Giroux and, uh, what's his name? Like, a lot of people were a little mixed on the wrist of line and deal. Or trade, but I was like, no, Eddie played in Buffalo. And he had a good amount of points. I think he'll do much better in Philly. And, man, did he suck. <laughs> he was not good. Ellis was hurt, though, and I think that really hurt us. If he can stay healthy this year, I think he'll, he will be a big help. I really don't know the Flyers. I think they could have a chance. I'm not getting my hopes up, though. Because they always seem to find a way to disappoint every year. But I I'm, I wouldn't rule them out. They have a good goalie in heart. I don't know who the backup will be. I'm hoping Sandstrom. But who knows? They'll probably sign some 30-something-year-old vet guy that hasn't been good in years. Jones was actually pretty good, though, for a bit, wasn't he? I don't remember how he finished the season, but I remember him starting pretty well. I think in the preseason, he didn't look phenomenal, but he, I think he did really well when the season started. The, to what I remember, the goalies were not... The, they were far from the issue last year. It was literally everybody else, like defense, offense. I don't trust our minor league and our development staff. If you're talking about the Flyers, I agree. Because the development 
is not good in Philly at all. Like, we have not developed very many stars aside from even Konechny had what, like one solid year, two? He might add a few more than that, but Provi has been a little disappointing. Like, he used to be an untouchable. Now he's kind of part of trade rumors. I mean, we Giroud was like the only, I feel like, insane superstar we've had. Like, franchise guy. Uh, th but then again, they don't come around too often, but... Like, Borchek wasn't ours. Simmons wasn't ours. We, we, we acquired them. A lot of the guys that, like, Philly would get were from other teams. And they would just kill it in Philly. Like, Shen, Simmons, Borchek. This might go to OT. Even back, like, Hartnell back in the day. Briere. Watch the Flyers win a Stanley Cup. I thought that I I said if like once Hart uh, came into the NHL, I said hope bring the Cup to Philly within five years. What was that? His third year. So he's got two more <laughs> to prove me right. I hope they don't lose Hart. I thought I heard someone saying like they should trade him. If they traded Hart, that would be the stupidest thing they could do with how many goaltending issues they've had. I know they have a good amount of, of depth for goalies, like young goalie depth, but you don't trade your franchise guy like that. He's basically our franchise player right now. And he, for the, for the awful talent he had in front of him last season, he did pretty well. I think he had over 905 save percentage, right? He was definitely above average in that category. But, I don't know. We'll see. But here we go. Overtime it is. Let's see how this goes for us. Hopefully it goes better than, uh... Than I anticipate. Oh, we're on a power play. I just realized that. That could help. Maybe not. I'm kind of tempted to just go for this. What's up, Ian? How are you, bud? Yep, I'm back. I'm all set up. Screw it. I don't even care. That's in. That's in. Oh, no. What if I, like, kicked it in or something? Would that have counted? Let's energize this crowd a little bit. That's not ours. Ooh. Not looking good for my boy Hill here. Did he even throw a single punch? He, I, I saw my my bar went down, but I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Mason? How are you? I was very upset they didn't go after Johnny Gaudreau. Very upset. Oh, I'm hoping to still get up development camp vlog. I completely forgot about that. I still have to edit it a little bit and do the reveal and all that. We played so much Among Us while you were gone. Oh, I'm sure. And Phasmophobia, right? Hopefully some Cold War as well. Oh, oh, man. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes. I was not ready for that. Oh, wait. No. Oh, goalie interference. That's going to be goalie interference. Yeah. Oh, wait. What are they taking a look at? I thought goalie interference they don't review in the game. Yeah, okay. I thought they said as of now, it doesn't stand. Remember when goaltender interference used to be like a penalty? In this? I don't think it is anymore. Then again, is it even a penalty like... I don't know. There it is! That will count! No one in the crease there! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we won that game. Because... What were the shooting stats, the totals? 18 to 21. Man, well, we did have a 90 save percentage, just barely. But wow, I'm surprised we got that dub. And I'm also surprised we were only recording for just under 25 minutes. But all right, guys, that is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm very happy to be back. I'm hoping to get back into the groove of daily uh, uploads. I can't guarantee it quite yet, but I'm hoping that that will be the case. But uh, thank you again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.